Why couldn't it have been a werewolf? Uh, to be fair, Heather, you're you're on to something. I don't think I want to play that game. But friend of dog perk, Dustin. Friend of dog perk. Oh yeah, you can have a team of werewolves. Yeah. The group spots a car speeding down the road. Oh, please give us a ride. Our car ran out of gas. Nerds. Well, fuck that guy. Everybody's sad. Darren plays is walking around the road when he is attacked by a feral cat. Feral cats coat the U.S. after the zombie apocalypse. You never see them, but they're always watching. Wow, that sucks. Next time I watch one of Darren's videos, I'm just going to picture him getting mauled by a cat. Group is walking through countryside, stumbles on burnout cars, zombies roaming around them. Good opportunity to check if one of the cars still works. Uh, you need a flashlight, man. It's The hordes are thick and it's very late at night. Is it now? You have two flashlights, so hand them out to two people. It's gonna be dark. Oogie doggie. Oh, uh, yeah, you ever frigger, frigger, burr. It's like swearing and gibberish combined. Okay, uh. Scum nose? Nah. I don't wanna go too crazy on the ammo. Okay. So we do still have a ways to go before we get there. We're about. We're hitting about the half point in Canada. We're doing okay. It. Doing okay. I believe that it's really fucking dark on the highway. And I believe. To be honest, yeah. Like I've I've done various camping situations with my oh, folks fuck, fuck. and whatnot, but uh, nothing quite as scary as oh, the vehicle down there had a little sparkle to it. Did it? I believe that I found some pistol ammo when I was hoping for gas. Uh oh. Get in the car, get in the car. Oh, dude! Get everybody in the car! Dude! Is everybody in the car? Dude! This is a Dumb and Dumber reference. What? Oh my goodness, it is! That's the truck from Dumb and Dumber. Oh. And it. Oh, fuck. We picked up no extra gas. Fuck you, Harry and Lloyd. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? The group spots a bakery van that is broken down on the side of the road. The van is irreparable, the bread is moldy, but there are some sugary cakes. Isn't that like a, a Zombieland reference? You finally found the Twinkies? Yeah, but that was like an entire movie. Dedicated to the Twinkies. And attacked by ants. We need no further elaboration. Ate some food. Girl Cheese rolls up her sleeves and starts tending to their wounds. That's the last three medical kits. Oh, man. The group spots an old boot. It doesn't look like it's anyone's size, but hey, it's free. Get the boot. Get that boot. Oh, no. After hours of hiking, the group finds a car. The keys are missing. A cabin is visible to the north. Shit. I don't know, man. <sighs> it says that the hordes are thick and they're aggressive right now. The hordes are thick, not to mention smelly. And rotten. And they said the cabins to the north. There's the car. You can see your breath hanging in the air. Wait. You see dead people, but you just don't care. There, don't get the gas. Get the gas. Friendly zombie, stop to say hello. There's the keys. Hey, there's more gas to the right there. And, and the keys. Okay, okay. We're just gonna like. All right, somebody pick up the machete. Please. You can probably have Steph pick it up. Oh, Heather got it. You Steph go, punches. Steph knows nothing but the fist. She's like the iron fist. Well, you were... Oh, no! Oh, who died? No! no. Oh, shit. That was, uh... No, that was evil laugh gaming. No, no, no. no. He, we still got him. No. We... Oh, no. No. Fuck. That was Darren plays. No. It's okay, buddy. You'll be playing games in heaven. You can pick up the ammo there. <laughs> Give him mouth to mouth. Live, damn you, live! <laughs> Fuck. Just pick up the ammo, jeez. Oh, am I missing ammo? Yes. Okay, my, my friend just died, okay? Sue me. Oh, look what... You remember this? It's Matt's old weapon. Holy shit. The bone flail. Did, did we ever come up with an actual name for that? I can't remember. Heather dropped the machete. Heather, why? Because she has bone flail envy. 
<laughs> oh, that's a nice looking bone flail. It's like a snack, but but made of bone. A little bit of medical supplies, yay. <laughs> well, if we if somebody else shows up, Get at least keys. we don't have to boot anybody out. Might want to go pick up those uh, mach that machete. Like even if Heather dropped it, you can pick it up and redistribute it to somebody else later. Why? Karate chop okay. him back into consciousness. That you know, works. I think I think he will eventually get up as a zombie if we stick around. Huh. Yeah. I I think I I can't quite remember, but I I think. Well, the hordes are pretty. Well, they they seem to move down a little bit, but let's get going. Bye, Darren. Uh, always, oh, you handsome bastard. <laughs> I'll always remember you and your fabulous hair. Alright, here we go. There's a large horde of zombies on the road ahead. The group isn't sure if they can get through them or not. Seek shelter in a house, take a detour, or plow through. We hardly have gas. If we take a detour, we're going to be walking again. And I honestly don't know. Shelter? Shel Might turn into a siege. I don't want to see. Do we only have eight days to go? Do you think the car would survive if we plow through? I don't know. We just got this car. I don't know much about it. Oh, no. That could be a siege, too. Take a detour. We're going to run out of gas. All right. Well, what do you want to do? Uh, I say plow through. All right. Oh, no. The car gets through, but takes some damage. Oh, that worked. Oh, there we go, as long as it's it's not smoking. Remember fun? I remember fun. Man, I miss fun. Fuck, grilled cheese bitches a lot. Holy. <laughs> Group is traveling close to nightfall. Mild, calm. We're going to go to a pool. Oh, please tell me we can go to the police station. Okay, we can go to the police station. Okay. But, but it's near sunset. Okay. We need two people with flashlights. Because I was going to reconsider our relation. I mean, yeah, let's go to the police station. Excuse you? Nothing. Uh huh. That's good. That's We're all good. Thought. We're all good. It's all good. I love you. Uh huh. <laughs> um, probably just one person with a flashlight. Uh... I won't regret that decision at all. I have confidence in us. Okay. Okay. Now, don't go to. If the police station has like multiple levels of shit, don't get lost because it's gonna get. Buttville Police. You want that as a badge on your epaulette there? I'm from the Buttville PD. That's a nice looking badge. It looks like two hams. And... <laughs> I'm part of the Buttville Police Department. I'm a 10 year veteran. Okay, Stephanie's getting pretty tired. Let her back up there. Throw a flag at people. I don't know. You have to recharge your chi. You have to balance yourself. She's getting pretty tired. Go sit on that toilet and meditate. Oh, oh jeez. I'm glad somebody has the bone flare. Matt, even in death, your legacy lives on. You started something beautiful. Fuck. Ah, get out of there, man. I'm, I'm trying. This is... <laughs> that zombie looks like Darren. We gotta figure out reasons for why people got kicked out of the group. Why did we kick Jared out of the group? Other than the game. Well, the he, dice roll. Well, he kept uh, holding on to that AK-47 in an awkward way and making very gross noises in the back seat. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, let off wipes. You're my favorite. <laughs> Alright, let's throw the American flag. Yeah. The music is oddly calming for trying to kick your way through a zombie infested police department. The music in this game is fucking brilliant. Like, I just love the whole, like, 16-bit feel, and I love the... I don't know, it's just... It's a fun game. It's It can get really difficult and intense, but it doesn't take itself too seriously, you know? Like, you, you can tell the guys making this just had... Must have had fun just coming up with a bucket list of ideas for this game. Trying to get the other guys to hit things because Steph is, like, constantly sweating here. Oh, man. Evil laughs swinging that flail. Heather seems a little timid with that hammer. 
frying pan. Okay, snub nose. picked up a snub nose. Might need a switch to shoot. Here. I, no? Can Stephanie actually use a gun? No, she will not. Hmm. She does not. She's like Batman. She doesn't believe in guns. The music turned. I think you need to get out of here. If the scary nighttime music playing, the scary nighttime music is playing. Please get out of there. Ugh, entrails everywhere, man. Okay. Let's boogie. What's in here? That's a bathroom. Let's boogie this way. Get him away! We can still do this. We can still do this. Now leaving the Buttville Police Department. Do we want to check out the other houses? No, it's it's dark. Okay. Rita Rageface, aka my conscience, is screaming it's time to go. Uh, Get the fuck out of the way! Barb. Probably the only way we'll survive. No, Dustin, you can't keep rooting around in the police department's basement anymore. We gotta go. But I am vengeance. I am the knight. It's nearly time to camp, but there have been a lot of signs of bandits. Someone needs to be awake in case of an attack. Oh shit! They all said that they were said that they were tired later, but I don't know, man. I say evil laugh because he's been like very prepared. He's only fucked up once. Okay. But everybody gets one. All right. Okay. He manages to stay awake, but feels like shit in the morning. Sounds about right. Tired. Seven driving days. This is like the best we've ever done for food. Don't jinx it. Fuel halfway. While scavenging, they run into a man covered in cardboard boxes. He has a rifle lying on the ground. Should we help him up? Or steal his weapon? Help him up. We're all we have tired. A, we have a lot of guns. I think, yeah. Saves the man. He can't spare a reward, but is super grateful. Oh my gosh, we helped someone. And... Why does Heather's morale decrease? She wanted that gun. She's just like... <laughs> I hate helping people. Well, to be fair, she does work in... Uh, she does work in receiving. So she's probably sick and tired of cardboard boxes, ready to see somebody get killed underneath cardboard boxes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, fair enough. Wow. Everyone's showing up. Jonathan. Jonathan's a good friend of mine. Um, we did work together. We still work for the same company, but he lives in a different city. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, well, recruit Jonathan. And now we get to do the... Oh, no, oh, we good. had a fourth spot, so we're good. Yep. Serve your water. We don't want to waste any. Wait, no, I got to say it in, like, evil laughs voice that I can't emulate at all. Conserve your water. We don't want to waste any. Sounds like a very suave motherfucker. Yeah, he kind of is. Yeah, he's actually really good. He does, like, voices for his characters in mm -hmm. his videos and stuff. He's It's actually really entertaining. Um, I want to do a raid. Can we please go to the Flashing Hunting Lodge? I don't know. We I don't know. Everybody's tired. I'm not tired. Hold on. I'm going to have some coffee. And what? It's magically going to make the computer smarten up, too? Yes. Well, I do have some cans of Monster Energy drink in the cabinet. That stuff's so bad for you. But it tastes good and it actually works. I don't drink that stuff unless I think I'm, like, gonna die at work or something. Honestly, from what I've heard, maybe you should drink it more often then. <laughs> uh, Jonathan. Got nothing. How come Jonathan's heart is, like, oh... His is red and blue. Red I or flashing. I think... Oh, I could be wrong, and anybody who's watching, feel free to correct me if I am wrong. That might mean that he has, like, extra health okay. or something like that. Might have to do with his perks. What's that thing in the upper right corner for for the weapons? What is that? What? Upper right corner of the weapons. Upper right? I... Or, sorry, upper left. My bad. That's the boot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, right, we used that before. It, it works like a boomerang. It keeps coming back to you kind of thing, doesn't it? It kind of does, and it kind of does, and it will end up on the ground. I think it's just more of a joke item. It's not really... Not really, uh... Not really that useful. Unless there's some trick to using it that I don't... That I'm not aware of. Oh, running through the woods. Run through the woods. Are we in Canada yet? Because I feel like we're in Canada. 
Maybe Montana? Is this northern Alberta? We're Alberta bound and cook. Okay, some shotgun and that stuffed bear overlooking everything. Gas! Come on. There's a box underneath that pile of zombies. Grab that. Shotgun shells. Good. We have been low on shotgun shells, so. And there's a shotgun. And a hockey stick. You go, Heather. Huh. I know you don't play much sports, Heather, but you've got the arms and the legs. A huge stuffed bear looms in the cabin. Grilled cheese can either wrestle it or search the bear. Search the bear. Hey, there was a bunch of food and mechanical and medical supplies hidden in the flap. In the flap? Where would the bear have a Steph? Steph? Where was the flap on the bear? Steph, it is not like you can just pull food and medical supplies out of that bear's at. Oh my. You can. Who's Mr. Prepared now? Well, good for you. Even Evil Laugh Gaming was impressed. Well, I guess... Oh, that one... For a second, I just saw that zombie walking along. Throw that log at the zombie that was over to the left that was just dripping blood as he walked along. Uh... Whoop. I don't know if you can throw the log. Oh, it's actually a weapon. Yeah. Time for some good old-fashioned cable toss, I guess. Oh, come on. Come on, there we go. Give Bye! Yeah. Okay. Gas is doing it. <laughs> this is some bullcrap! This is some bullcrap. The group finds a large campsite that is occupied by carloads of other survivors. Camping with strangers is risky. Evil Laugh Gaming doesn't trust them. Give evil ga Laugh Gaming don't trust them. Does not trust anyone. He stays up all night watching for any signs of trouble. Nothing happens, and he is exhausted in the morning. Ah, oh, shit, that's two nights he went without sleep. That seven-year-old across the way was going to shank us in our sleep. <sighs> I just know it. He's fucking tired. Oh, man. I wonder if, like, just about everybody has to have shown up by now in this playthrough. Well, shit, we're doing pretty good. Grocery store? Grocery store. Let's do it. Okay, Jonathan, and... Yeah, maybe put I'm, the log down, Steph. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Trash the gar trash Get the rid log. of it. Okay. Yes. Um, nom, 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 nom. Okay. Uh, words. Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four. Uh, you probably Did it don't. say it was night? I can't uh, remember. Was it nightfall? I can't remember shit. I'll take a flashlight just in case. Okay. Oh, it's friggin' morning. Oh, it's a.m. Okay, shit. Alright, which one's the grocery store? I don't think this is the grocery store. I don't know. We'll just boogie around and see what we can find. There's never a simple boogie around. That's like all we do in this game. We just run around and, you know... Wade through the piles of intestines and eyeballs. It's like a road trip, except, you know, no GPS, and you will probably die, and everybody's pissed at each other by the end. That sounds like a pretty normal road trip to me. <laughs> I guess so. Oh. Road trips are all fun and games until the screaming starts of who the fuck just farted? <laughs> Wasn't there... Oh. I gotta go back and watch some other playthroughs. That's the problem when you don't play, when you don't, um, let's play for a while. Wasn't there a part where somebody actually did fart in the vehicle or, or something along those lines? I think there was. Yeah. Alright, there's, the only thing with this game is that the, whoever has a controller is obviously going to be in the lead. Like, you can tell the uh, secondary characters that they're going to primarily shoot or smash, but they will never never move faster than you, unfortunately. Yeah. I have to admit, playing this game on single player, like, like no offense, of course, but playing this game on single player is so much easier because, like, I can just move, and I don't have to give very much thought to the other characters. Like, I just go and they follow mm -hmm. when we were playing this on two player it is a little tricky because like we already went through yes, yes we did 
Um, it was a little tricky because, like, we just couldn't coordinate. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to focus on the hordes, and it's just hard to coordinate with another person. And also, if player one went into a room, and player two was still in the previous one, player two wouldn't know where the hell they got to. Oh, yeah. Because the camera would follow player one. Oh, yeah. Less. Our first time playing, I think I did that to you a bunch. Like, I'm trying, and I just keep doing it. Because I couldn't tell where the door was, because the camera wasn't on me at all anymore. Yeah. Yeah, definitely has its uh, difficulties for sure. Alright. Okay. Where the hell's the grocery store after all this? I. It might be quite a ways up there. We should ask these guys for directions. No? Uh... Oh. He's got, like, I, war I, paint on his face. I don't think he should wander too far away from the car, man. Uh... You already picked up supplies to send back to the car. I didn't pick up very much, though. Maybe okay. that... Was that the grocery store? I mean, we, usually they have a sign. We've only got six days to go. Okay. <laughs> the nagging voice of Rita come on, and... Come on, oh, come on, no, come on, no. come on, come on. I don't think I've ever seen it stall that bad. Woo.